Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin and this is a quick video about how to get started with Google Sites. And this is the new Google Sites and what you're going to do is I would actually go to your Google Drive and you're going to click new and normally you would have your doc sheets and slides here. You, if you clicked more, you might find forms and drawings. Now you may not have the Google Sites uh, link like I do here. So you might have to click this connect more apps and then all you do is search for sites and then you will see this purple one come up and once you click it and connect it there to your account it will from now on be on this more section and you can click here so once you do click there you will be taken to the the Google Sites page and basically what you're doing is you're creating a website and it's actually the super easiest simplest website builder you can ever have and it's nice because it's connected directly to your uh, Google Docs for example so you can embed those right in um, so it's super simple to go ahead and do some things the first thing I'm going to show you is basically like what you want to do is change the name of your site so I'm just going to call it uh, Glenn Irvin my name uh, you call it probably whatever your English class or whatever you're uh, using it for here. And then right here, you're going to go ahead and give your website a name. So it, I'm just going to say my website, something generic like that. And I might go ahead and take a look at the design aspects of like changing how this looks. Because right now it looks pretty generic. And so I might click over here where it says change image. And it says select an image. You can upload your own images, though they have to be sized pretty well in order for this to work. I usually just select an image, and they have a variety of, of all kinds of cool stuff here inside the gallery. I'm going to choose this one and just select it just so you can see what it kind of does. So it changes all of kind of the, the different aspects and colors there. The other thing you may want to go ahead and do is over here on the top right hand side is change the themes here. And what that does is it changes like the fonts that you're going to have available and the color schemes. So right now it's on simple. I'm going to click this Aristotle one and you can see it changed the way the fonts look. The diplomat looks like this. The vision one looks like this. The level one looks like this. I'm just going to go back to the, the simple one. But you choose the one that you really like. And you can also select uh, color schemes. So uh, let's say I selected this color scheme. This kind of whatever would happen from this point forward would fit within this specific color scheme. The fonts, I think you could change them just a little bit. It keeps it really simple though, so it's trying not to overwhelm you. So what I'm, I'm learning about as far as this assignment that you're about to do, uh, one of the most important parts is you know how to go ahead and embed, for example, a Google Doc in here. And it's super easy to do. The first thing you're going to do is get to this insert button over here on the top right, this tab here. And you can see there's all kinds of things we can insert. Things like a text box, some images, some kind of embed code, and something from Drive. I, you can select Drive right now if you wanted to. Or you can scroll down and you can actually find Google Docs right here. So I'm going to select Docs so it only brings up things that are actual documents. So that I can choose one of those and then embed it right in there. So for example, if I had this inquiry guide uh, that we're using here for study skills, we're going to just select whichever it is that the document that you're working on so if you had a blog for example that you created you should find it here if you can't see it here then just search for it obviously there and once you find what you like you just press insert and it's gonna throw it down in here now one of the things I'll let you know right away actually it <laughs> inserted quite a few things there on mine um, one of the things that I'll let you know about this uh, process is that it kind of only throws in the top part of the page but you can adjust all of this stuff here so if I wanted to make this bigger this page and I wanted to say hey I, I need this to be displaying bigger I can change the size of that very easily uh, by grabbing the sides here and then dragging it down let's see if we can go ahead and make that happen right now let's see there it is so I just double clicked inside of there and then these uh, this toggles came up here so I can make it about the size of what I would consider to be a page. So let's say I wanted it to be about that big. So now you can check out that it kind of appears there below it. Now what's awesome about uh, these Google Sites is that right now it's I'm just in the in the working process and so nobody can see this. I could share the ability to be able to edit this page 
by clicking this little person right here. So example, if you wanted to go in and share that with one of your teachers, you could click share with others here and then type in their name there if they are working like uh, with you. Or you could also preview of what this is actually going to look like once you publish it. So we don't want to click publish yet. We want it to go, okay, what does it look like on a web page? Let's click this one. And let's just see what it's going to look like. And this is what our web page is going to look like. So you see kind of the document is being embedded right here. It even gives you this ability to be able to pop it out to a new tab if you wanted to. So super easy and simple to get out of this view. I just clicked a little X here to get back to the editing view. So last thing I'm going to show you is what if I want another page here? So websites are built upon a home page, and then other pages are linked to that home page. Um, so let's try to do that right now. Let's say your your next page was actually you're going to create a thing where it says blocks. Okay. So I'm going to say I want to insert something. Um, and actually, the easiest way to do this, I got a better way to do this, instead of pressing insert, is if you go back to the pages tab here. And I go ahead and go over to the right side here and see these three little uh, dots that appear, these little freckles. I'm going to click them and it says, hey, I want to add what's called a sub page. And all that is saying, I want uh, I want a page off of, off of the main home page. So I'm going to click add sub page. Like, what do you want to call this? I'm going to call this one blogs. And let's just say done. And then what you'll notice is that blogs came up here. Still looks kind of the same, but I still have a home page. Let's go back to the home page. So this is my website, but now this other page is going to be called blogs, and it actually renamed it for me and everything there. So the other part that's cool is that if I go back to my home page, you'll notice something happened here. There's now a drop-down menu here on the upper right, and it drops down to blogs. So that's a specific type of, of way of being able to navigate through the pages. You don't have to do that kind of navigation. This is called top navigation. You can also do side navigation. And the side navigation has a little drop down menu here in the top left, and you'll see blogs appears here. And that's totally up to you how you decide to navigate between the two. All I did is click the gear and say either I want top navigation or side navigation. You decide which one fits for you. When you're ready to go ahead and publish this and share it with other people, all you're going to do is click the publish button here. So I'm going to click publish, and it says, hey, what do you want to call this? Uh, so I don't want to call this. I'm just going to call this Sample Website Glen. Okay, and then I'm going to say who can view this site? Anyone at ISD 47? We can keep it within ISD 47. Or if you want to have people out in public outside of the ISD 47 accounts, you can change this by saying, "Hey, I want anyone to be able to see this." you know, out in the world. So anyone can view this published version if you want to go ahead and change that or if your teacher says that that's okay to do that. Okay. But for right now, I'm going to keep it within ISD 47. I'm going to press publish. You'll notice it already tells me, hey, your live, your website's going to be live at this address right here. So sample website, Glenn, I'm going to publish. And then that's it. Now that website, once it gets loaded and published, it's going to go ahead and appear actually for anyone that's in the ISD 47 um, you know, web uh, address. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Adios.